Britain on this Friday morning. Now, if you've been watching this week, you'll know that we've been cooking up a storm here on Morning News today. The BRICS Summit is underway, and it's an opportunity to try out the food from all the member nations. Now, earlier, we tucked into a traditional Russian breakfast, and now we're going to India. And Chef Kupale making this delicious bread for us this morning. Ku, good morning. Good morning. Thanks for coming. Thanks for bringing all this in. It's now, a I'm traditionally a girl. I could have curry and rice at 8 in the morning. I can eat biryani early in the morning. So explain to this for me is perfect. This is a traditional South Indian breakfast. So this is a traditional South Indian breakfast. Okay, lots here. Yes. Lots going on here. Tell us what's what. So obviously Indian uh, people like a lot of spice in their, uh -huh. in their cuisine. Uh, they're not a bacon, eggs kind of nation. Definitely not bacon. <laughs> no. Okay. So... Um, they love a lot of bread, a lot of rice. So you can. So a lot of these dishes are made from rice, uh, lentils, chickpeas, uh, gram flour, and then they've incorporated uh, a lot of their fresh spices and coconuts and mustard seeds and a lot of cumin. You know, yeah, South yeah, India yeah, is yeah. the heart of the or cumin. Jira, yes. As we call yes. It. Okay. So no. to explain to us what you've brought now. Obviously, they wouldn't be having all of these things. No. This is just uh, sort of, they'd have a bit of this and a bit of that. So tell us what's on that side. It's not totally vegetarian, okay? No. All so right. it's uh, obviously mm. free from beef and pork of because course. majority of Indians are of Hindu um, religion. Yeah. So, there's a, so they use a lot of eggs and a lot of chicken in their breakfast dishes as well. Okay. Would these be leftovers from the night before or they, these are made for breakfast? So these are made for okay. breakfast. Okay. Um, so let me start here in the, in the center. So we've got the very traditional and very popular South Indian dish. Mm. It's Italy. Oh, I love that. So but that's a lot of work, right? Yes. Okay. Because that's where the rice needs to soak overnight mm. and then it needs to be ground and then it's fermented and then only the So what's the process? How many hours would you say? A day? Uh, about two days. Two days. About Goodness. two days. Okay. And then it's steamed and yeah. into almost like a dumpling. Yeah. Um, and then that's served with a samba. And this is what samba is. And what's to you in there? and then to you and I we know it as dal. Okay, dal. Okay. So it's dal and, and then you've got what they do is they yeah, they put in a whole lot of fresh vegetables. So in this one we've got some carrots, some brinjols, some potatoes. So okay, so that's a, it's a curry on its own. Yes. Anyway, okay. And then right. they would just break it and then dip it into the into the samba. Fantastic. And then what is that? What's the other bun looking okay. job in there? So to you and I, we know it as vada. Really? But that doesn't look like what so, uh, I know to be. So a South African vada. or should I say a Durban style vada is mm -hmm. is a lot flatter. Um, yes, it, it is. It's, yeah. made with, yes, yeah. it's made with yes, it's made with pea dal. Uh, the traditional Indian one is made with chickpeas. And then they also put in some rice flour and some seasoning, some cumin, some mustard. Is there chili in that? Because yes. if our vedas here would have, yes. would have chili. It's got okay. some chili in there. And then it's um, proved for about 20 minutes. And then it's deep fried. Okay. And then that is traditionally served with a coconut chutney. Oh, so that looks nice. So we've got some fresh grated coconut. Yeah. And then it's sautéed in with some mustard seed, a little bit of chili. Very fresh stuff. Yes. I mean, despite the bready things, you've yes. got a lot of fresh, freshness going on here. Yeah. Okay, very interesting way to do eggs. Yes. On, the, on that side? So again, um, a lot of spice has been brought into there. They, it's actually called an egg chutney. Egg chutney. I yeah. Love egg chutney. Yes. So it's sautéed onions mm -hmm. with some uh, chilies, some cumin seeds, some mustard seeds. And that's just boiled eggs. And it's just boiled eggs chutney. thrown into there, garnished with some coriander. Mm -hmm. And that you can have with some naan bread or roti. Some of them also have it with some basmati rice. Yeah, basmati rice. Yeah. And this, is this an Indian pizza? No. What is this? <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's called an utapam. Okay. So it's also another breakfast type uh, bread that they have. So here we have a plain utapam and there we've just topped it with some chicken. So you can have it savory, you can have it That's sweet. That's this one if you can't see the, yes. the one with the chicken. Okay. And again, they would, they would eat this with like mm. a fresh chili relish or even yeah. with the samba. And in India, these would be made like this morning. Yes. Yeah, even these. Uh, yes. So the naan and the, the roti. Bread, the nans, all of that would be yes. made fresh yeah. by some hardworking auntie who woke up at like the crack of dawn. Absolutely. While yeah. her husband <laughs> slept. Okay, right. <laughs> and then the rest of it. And, and then, then other bits and pieces. And then I've just, uh, I've, you know, if you look at a traditional breakfast, mm -hmm. there's always mm -hmm. potatoes that's featured okay. in here. So I've just done just a. Just point that out for our viewers. So, so I've just done um, sauteed potatoes. So with fried a, potato, basically. Yeah, with some onions and then finish it off with some masala. Yeah. What and is this, Ku? So this is a chili relish. Chili relish. Okay, it's a, okay. So it's got some red chili, some tomato, some onion that's been sautéed. I'm gathering that is very spicy. Yeah. That's not to be taken by the mouthful. So that's okay. why you have it uh, as an accompaniment to these other dishes because okay. these are not very spicy because, it's, again, it's early in the morning okay. for breakfast. So I then try to do something more local, closer to home. Um, so to do um, an Indian wrap. And ah, again, okay. using a roti. On the go, if yes, you're on, if you're using Russian. a roti. Okay. 
Uh, I've done a butter chicken flavored Yum. chicken. Okay. So it's so not too salty. I wasn't far off the mark yes. having my curry for breakfast. No, you've okay, got great. to try. I've got to try it. Um, so it's not uh, very saucy. So it's just sauteed mm. with the spices. And then just to go a little bit more decadent, I've added a couple of prawns in there. Oh, well, yes, that's for us. Thank yes. you so much. So what is the thinking behind the spice very quickly before we let you go without your food? Yes. Uh, the, the spice, I mean, is it, I know it's something to do with the metabolism and yes. the heating and cooling of the body. Very yes. quickly for us. The, the so, um, yeah, I mean, spice. Indian cuisine is all about spice. And yeah. people uh, sometimes misconstrue uh, spice with heat. Yes. And, and when you look at the Indian cuisine, they use a lot of ginger, a lot of turmeric, yes. mustard seeds, cumin so seeds. It all gets yes. the juices flowing. And, and all in moderation is actually very good for you. Okay, fantastic. I see Devin Murugan has popped in. He's never here at this time. I know why you're here, Devin. Okay, we'll let you get to the food in a moment. Thank you very much, Kool. It's a pleasure. Devan, you know you're not leaving with all of this food, okay? You yes. can take your dishes. Thank you very much. All right, speaking of uh, hot and spicy, <laughs> let's check in with Annette at the Weather Center.